How would you like to get long form buyer leads for your mortgage business using Facebook ads? That's what we're going to talk about in today's video coming up. What's up guys? If you're new here, my name is Adam Middlesworth. I help you go further faster with digital marketing. If you're into that, make sure that you subscribe, click the subscribe button, the bell icon, so you get notified when I upload new videos. In today's video, as promised, we're gonna go over a Facebook ad for buyer leads, specifically in mortgage, but this also applies if you are a real estate agent. And what we're gonna do is the premise is a pre-approval quiz. So we want long form buyer information along with their name, email, phone number, contact information, right, on how we can follow up with them. And so this is gonna be copy and paste. If you wanna download this template, I'll give that to you at the end of the video, so stay tuned there. Uh, I'll also link it in the description. And so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go through the full Facebook ad. So the objective, the targeting, the ad copy, what images should you use, and then how to actually convert these leads into both name, email, phone number, and then how, how do we actually get the information from them? And we're gonna get long form buyer information, meaning uh, we can know if they can show proof of income, we can know if they filed for bankruptcy, uh, we know their time frame to move, what home type they're looking for, have they worked with an agent or not, and then we can kind of give them some follow-up information along with hey, you can actually go and fill out the applications. There are a few things that you can do at the end of this, and we'll get to that um, at the end. So we are going to dive into Facebook Ads Manager here. We're in our test account, and what we're gonna do here is click on Create. And when we do that, we are going to choose a new campaign, and we are going to choose Lead Generation. Uh, for this, you can choose two, so you can either choose lead generation or messages. If you're brand new to Facebook advertising, you'll want to do just lead generation here. So click on that. We're going to call this pre-approval quiz. And then if you're new to uh, Facebook ads and new to my channel, I like to do brackets and then name it, whatever it is. So lead forms and then date it as well. Okay, so we've got the whatever this is. So this is pre-approval quiz, this is lead forms, and this is the date. So that when you see all of your analytics, you know what it is. We're gonna click on continue here and go to the ad set level. And this is where we're going to name our audience. So what we're gonna do here is just name this. We are going to, um, let's do Indianapolis, Indianapolis. Indianapolis, um, excluding realtors, or let's do this. And then also lead form date. Okay, and then we're going to use this. And then scrolling down, we're going to actually choose our audience. What we want is people in Indianapolis. And we want people who live in this location. And then let's just say 10 mile radius here. Let's see what that gets us. So we're at 880. If we do age, and let's do 28 to let's say 55. We're at 480 if we come in here and exclude. Ah, sorry. Uh, real. brokers. Okay, so we've excluded both of those. We're still looking at about 450. So what we can come in here and do is choose English, which that's not going to exclude a whole bunch. What you can come in here and do is obviously if you're located on the north side of Indy, you could drop a pin up on the north side and do a location based around that. And we can do a, let's say a five mile radius up there. And we're looking at 81, so let's do a seven mile radius. Let's do six. So we're right around 100,000, right? It's kind of the bread and butter for Facebook algorithm. 
And then what we want to do is edit the placements. The only one that we want on is the Facebook feed and Instagram feed. You can come in here and select all of these. Um, you would need a slideshow for that. I have a video on how to create a slideshow. That's just what we've seen to work best on some of these like Instagram stories and Facebook stories. Um, one thing you can do is include marketplace. One thing that I would do for this is just do Facebook and Instagram feeds because it's easier. Uh, we're gonna do $20 per day and click on continue. We are going to choose a single image. And then from here, let's just browse. A couple things that work well is just a picture of a beautiful home in the area. So this would work well. Some other things is just like a face. Um, other things would be like a family with a dog in it. For some reason, animals do well. So we're just gonna choose a picture of a home. And then we are going to copy and paste the ad copy that I have over here. So we're going to do this. And this would say Indiana home buyers are taking advantage of low down payment options while rates are still low. Tap learn more to see if you qualify. Uh, so this would be if you did a straight to messenger ad. So if you used messages as the objective, you always have to put that you are um, sending them a message. For this, we are just using lead forms. So we are not going straight into Messenger. And I'll show you here in a second how you can do that. So what I would do is um, I would add a arrow here. Add this. And then for the headline, we're going to say own a home for as little as 3% down. And then in the description, we're going to say, find out if you qualify. Our call to action is going to be learn more here. And then from here, this is our ad, right? Indiana home buyers are taking advantage of low down payment options while rates are still low. Tap learn more to see if you qualify. Own a home for as little as 3% down. And that's it, right? You can do a slideshow video. Like I said, I will link that in the description below. That just adds a little bit of um, eye candy to the ad. It's a little bit more engaging. Uh, you'll get more people that click on it probably. From here, what we're going to do is um, take them to a lead form. So when they click on this photo, this headline, or learn more, it's gonna open up what's called a lead form. And that's what this is. It's essentially a landing page or a form within Facebook. That's great because we're not taking them off of Facebook and some of this data is pre-populated. So this would come with full name, Adam Middlesworth, that would come with my email, with my phone number. So all they have to do is click on submit. And this is the exact, um, this is the exact lead form that we would use. We're just gonna say, hey, let's see if you qualify for our special financing programs by providing your info below and then they would enter their info. And then on the next page, what we're gonna do is this is the quiz portion. So what we're gonna do is say, hey, thanks. Uh, we'll send you some info, but if you wanna find out if you pre-qualify, if you're pre-approved right now, see if you qualify by uh, clicking the take the pre-approval quiz button, right? And this is when it's gonna send straight to Facebook Messenger. I have a separate video on connecting the pre-approval quiz growth tool within mini chat. I will link that in the description and you can see that on the top right of this video. I'll link it in a card if you want to go directly to that so that you know how to how to link the pre-approval quiz. You can actually download that pre-approval quiz bot in the description below. I've got a link for that. I'll send you a message with that. So you've got everything at your disposal here. I'll give you all of our Facebook ads that we use. I'll give you the messenger bot that we use so you can literally plug and play this into your real estate or mortgage business. Alrighty guys, so that is buyer leads, getting long form buyer lead information, getting their name, email, phone number, more questions along the lines of home type, time frame to move, uh, income, credit score range, are they working with an agent or not? And then at the end, you can ask them, hey, do you have time to chat about your results? 
right? So don't give them the results unless they get on the phone with you, right? Or communicate to you via text or messenger. So basically you need to create that conversation and don't just shoot them the results. Say, hey, you might be a good candidate. I just wanna get some more information from you because honestly, that's just preliminary information. You don't know if they could get pre-qualified. You might know that they're in good standing, they got a decent credit score, they don't have bankruptcy claims, so it seems on the surface level that things are good, but we need more information, right? So we need to hop on the phone. So hey, you know, when's a good time to chat about your results? And then you can go and do your thing as the loan officer and close the deal. Guys, if you have any questions, comment down below. Happy to help. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want more videos to help you go further, faster with digital marketing, make sure that you subscribe, click the subscribe button, click the bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.